Hey folks, so I'm actually in the middle of a job. It's a run of 24 pieces, ABS plastic. Um, the biggest challenge is that you've got to actually flip the part over. So what I started doing was I milled one side here and then um, drilled four holes. And not only are there guide holes, but they're also mounting holes for the next operation. So what I did, milled that, drilled the holes, all in one operation on my vise. Did that to every part. But then I come over here and I've got this plate that the holes are already drilled in and tapped. And so now I can uh, go ahead and mount those upside down on here and touch off on the sides. And I'm good to go for my second operation. So milling plastic so far, what I've noticed is spindle speed needs to be a lot slower than what I expected. Otherwise, it, it tends to melt it. So slow the spindle down, bring the speeds up. Um, so chip thickness comes up too with that. Um, other than that, then just go to town and it, it's actually machining pretty well. Um, this is with like my half inch end mill here and it didn't turn out as nice as I would have liked. It's got a tool mark in there, but um, with my quarter inch uh, two flute carbide, it's cutting really nice. Um, I didn't ask permission from the company that, that I'm doing this for to show it on YouTube, so I'm not going to you know, show their design. But yeah, the half inch or the quarter inch cutter is doing really nice. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm how I'm knocking these out. So that's why I've been super busy and didn't have a video last week because because yeah, been busy. All right, so here's the half inch end mill. It's just milling that little flat spot I was showing you a second ago. A um, couple of cool things here. The vise is obviously clamped to the table. That back john is not going to move. And then I've got my uh, magne magnetic base there that is also not going to move. So every piece I put in there, as long as I line it up in, in the um, vise um, along that back jaw and up against that, that stop on the magnetic base, I don't have to do any touching off. So, so you saw the half inch end mill, here comes the, it's a quarter inch drill bit. And once again, those will just be used for alignment holes for the next step when I flip the part over. So this made it a lot faster because if I had to touch off on every one of these, it would have been a nightmare to do 25 of these. Oh, I probably could have been a little bit better with my programming and pecked at it. You see all the stringy um, pieces? That's because I just drilled straight down. So another thing about plastic, it's super duper forgiving, so it wasn't an issue. But to do it right, I probably should have pecked at it. All right, so now it's turned over, um, bolted down to that uh, aluminum plate. So on this one, I touched off on the Z-axis every time, so on the vertical axis, but I didn't bother because the, the bolts were such a snug fit that they were um, pretty much going in the same place every time, or the plate was going in the same place every time. Um, so I didn't bother with the X or Y, um, and it wasn't a problem in the end. But that's with the uh, quarter inch uh, two flute end mill um, and that came out really nice. Um, I don't want to show you because I didn't ask permission from the guy I'm making, um, from the customer. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel like it was the most professional thing to ask, you know, hey, can I put your design on my YouTube channel? So, so I didn't go for it this time. Holy cow, all 24 of them are done. Actually 25, I did one for good measure. So, it's hard to believe there's even a mill under all that plastic. That's after all of them have been done. I haven't vacuumed it out since I started. But holy cow, that's a lot of plastic. And I am so happy to be done with them. So, that was a lot of machine time for this thing. I think this is probably 13 hours of machine time for this little hobby mill. So, I do notice my little spindle doesn't sound very friendly anymore and I have been running it pretty much at full speed and it's actually with the belt drive conversion ramped up a little bit um, I'm supposed to be able to go 4500 rpm with this I think standard is you know 2500 so 
might have a little issue there. I might be replacing some bearings or doing something. Um, also, I kind of noticed the Y-axis started to sound a little bit rough, so I don't know if it just needs um, some grease in it or what, but that'll be coming up. Got to get this thing back um, up in tip-top shape again. So, thanks for watching. This is probably a bit of a short video and everything, but that's what I've been up to. So, run of 24 parts. That's pretty cool. I'm proud of myself. Have a good one. Bye.